So, so Simmers, it is Christy Sims here. If you're new to my channel or returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. If you're new to my channel, please know that the setup of my videos always include a visual walkthrough in the end, so make sure to stick around for that. And please make sure to stick around for that because this was a really fun, challenging build and I did not show you guys all the makings of each room inside the school so make sure to stick around for the visual walkthrough so you could see each and every single room <laughs> now i am so excited to bring to you guys my springfield elementary school to the sims 4. now if you don't know and if you're new i am making springfield's iconic builds this month and i'm so excited to bring it for you, to you guys not only am i doing builds but I'm also making characters and it's gonna be so 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 much fun <laughs> if you missed any of the videos I will be linking it in the description below as well as a card on this video <laughs> now I really wanted to make Springfield Elementary School just because the architecture of this place is really neat and super cool but also I've never made a school before in The Sims Ever. And that includes in all the other different franchises. So since one, two, three, I've never made a school and never attempted to make a school. So I am so excited that I finally get to build one. <laughs> now, I know you guys, I was so tempted to UCC and actually what you see right now in the build, I did UCC. But listen to me, <laughs> bear with me here. I ended up changing it to you know, well, I ended up, the only CC that you see here is the windows, the purple windows, just because in the school itself it's purple windows. So I ended up changing it to just white. So what you will see in the gallery are white windows. And I think the white is okay. Um, not okay. It turned out really great just because I added the you know, the purple seatings as a trim around the window. It really gives it that purple feel to it and plus just with all the purple around in the walls and stuff it really ties in really nicely so there isn't much of a difference between the white windows and the purple windows but in the gallery you will see the white windows now i was so tempted to just go into the cc room and i ended up downloading cc but you guys i really want to stick to not using cc because not all of you guys will be able or want to download cc so that is why my builds all my builds that i have recreated in i have focused it on not having any cc and i think that's a challenge in itself and it's a really fun challenge just because i get to manipulate items and use them for different things so very neat <laughs> but anyways i am so excited now i did make now everything is uh, pretty much identical with the rooms and stuff i did get some pictures from the lego set where you could build um springfield elementary school so i used a lot of the mapping that they put in the legos to this build just because i couldn't find so many pictures online and with the pictures that i did find i made sure to incorporate it in the video if that makes any sense or in the build so the back itself isn't the way it is in springfield elementary school but i just wanted to add some things just so it's playable for your sims um but I like how it turned out. It was really cute and I love all the shading that I put on the ground. It really made it real. Um, so in the school itself, I have a kind of English classroom. So it's like focused on reading or whatever, any language class that you could think of Spanish, but an English room, an art, not an art room, a music room, a science room. Um, a computer room and a detention area <laughs> just because Bart Simpson is always in detention and there's always scenes of him in detention especially in the opening scene where he is writing on the wall um, I forgot what 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 is he writing on the wall but I will add a little picture here but I really wanted to incorporate that in the video 
or in the build itself. Not only does it have those rooms, but it also has a teacher's lounge, the principal's office, a bathroom for girls and boys, a cafeteria with a kitchen, and an auditorium. So, uh, yeah, you guys, it has a lot in here. <laughs> and I was super excited. This room right now that you're seeing is one that I really am proud of just because if I were to be a teacher, this is how I want my room. I want my room like super colorful and bright and paintings all over, you know, I just want it to look so bright and happy. So I really wanted to capture that in this room in particular. Now, I also decided to add backpacks on the wall. Now this is an elementary school and I don't know if your elementary school is like this, but teachers usually have the kids backpacks on the wall and like little cubbies. So I wanted to add that in each room just because it's really cute and quaint and it just makes the build so much special and a little bit more charm to it. So here I am adding the backpacks to the walls. Now in each classroom there are 10 kids and there are 10 backpacks for each kid. Yeah y'all, I went super out <laughs> with this build. And I added so much little clutters everywhere. I really love this elementary school vibe and I really would like to do some more you know school builds in the future and if the sims happen to bring the university pack oh for sure you guys will see some builds from moi <laughs> so again i wanted to focus this room in like really colorful really bright and we will be moving to the next room in a few seconds now my next room was a science room there is a picture of the teacher teaching in the science room now the class is really, really small. So you can, you know, knock out like a roll, a, a roll, oh my gosh, I can't say that that word, a row of chairs and just make it more playable. But I just really wanna keep it um, with 10 students in each class. Now here's the science room and of course I had to add everything that I see in the initial pictures and that is shelving, a sink, and then, you know, all the shelving stuff, it, obviously it's for equipment, science equipment and whatnot. So I really wanted to add that. And I also wanted to add all the little things like the skeleton body or, you know, mannequin and all these little cool science things. And with that being said, I kind of picture there being like a science club and a, um, a music club and a debate club so I added little posters all over the school and each poster in my head it's kind of like a different club like the sporting club science club and all that stuff so I really added little charms everywhere and I'm especially proud of the music room just because it's super cute and you guys really need to check out the cafeteria I added the debug items such as like pizza and sodas and apples and you know fruits and stuff so I'm really proud of how that turned out now I won't be showing you how exactly I built that in this video just because I don't want it to be extra long but you will see it in the visual walkthrough in the end now there is also an auditorium and I added like these oh my god these little closets in the back just because I pictured the kids in drama <laughs> changing backstage to perform I don't know any musical or whatnot I love musicals and musicals is my thing um, so of course I had to add the little drama department in this field somewhere and it's in the auditorium <laughs> now you guys that pretty much sums up the build um it's really cool and it's really fun i hope you guys enjoy it make sure to download it in the gallery and let me know and send me pictures on twitter i really want to see you guys interacting with the builds i hope you guys all enjoy it and i will see you all very very soon bye guys have a great day